Guys, I can't wait to tell you the story today. Welcome to Whiskey and Smoke, the Riverwalk's newest concept. Owner Greg Retz, as you know, has taken the restaurants here, revamped all of them. Underdogs, Pennywise, and Pie Hole are coming. But today, Whiskey and Smoke, the food, the drinks, the atmosphere, bottom line, wow. I cannot wait to share with you today's episode. Welcome to Whiskey and Smoke, and welcome to Foodie Friday DFW. Greg, thank you so much for having us over. Thanks for being here, we loved it. Seriously, this place is incredible and congratulations on opening another restaurant here at the Riverwalk. Thank you, thank you, we're excited. Good, you should be. Um, I'm pretty excited, the food was amazing. Good, I'm glad you liked it. You were actually the first to have a lot of that. Yeah, well I'm telling you, everyone get down here, you're gonna love it. So, I'm in a lot of restaurants, I eat a lot of food. I'm here to tell you, everything I tried was incredible. Good. I'm telling you to your face, amazing. I could probably go on with other adjectives and descriptions, but I'm telling you, good. you nailed That's it. That's the response that we want from everybody. Absolutely. So, you've done a really good job going through the hurdles. The Riverwalk, everyone knows, has had some challenges. But what I've seen you design here, and I've seen the food and the concept, the drinks, is high level. Tell us, what are you thinking with Whiskey and Smoke? We're looking to do a twist on a traditional barbecue restaurant. So we have your traditional barbecue items, so your, your brisket, your ribs, your pulled pork. We do a phenomenal uh, smoked chicken and smoked turkey. True story. But in addition to that, we're trying to take it up a level. We're a step above your, your normal barbecue shack, if you will. So we have um, a Wagyu filet mignon. We have Wagyu New York strip. We're doing a stuffed yellowtail snapper. We have a smoked pecan encrusted salmon that's done with a little bit of molasses as on the crust in there. So it's all table service and it elevates it a step above kind of where we are. This is gonna be for the the river walk. It's it's date night. It's the crown jewel down on the river. Yeah, well, I'm coming here for a date. Fantastic. And I'm gonna come here for lunch. I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna come here a lot, I'm gonna be honest. Fantastic, um, what we wanna hear. Um, so when I walked in, let's talk about the food. Okay. I was blown away by this incredible appetizer. What was this tartare? Tell us about that. That is our steakhouse tartare. So it is 100% Texas Wagyu beef tenderloin that we chop very, very fine. It's mixed with capers, with, with pickles, with uh, herbs, and then it has a, an egg yolk on top, but we smoke it at the very end and we serve it with various condiments and some grilled grill baguette but it comes out smoked at the table. You didn't get to see it and the smoke go all over as it comes out. It's really, really an amazing presentation. It's fun, it's fun. People just love to see it smoke at the table. And then I saw some pork rinds, saw some yummy yes, snacks. Yes, those are our tequila lime chicharrones. So they're yep. saying they're, they're pork rinds, they're puffy, they're nice and crispy. We toss it in a tequila lime seasoning. And again, we smoke it, bring it out to the table smoking. So you get that effect, it hits the table, we pull the dome off and the smoke kind of goes everywhere. It makes for a dining experience. And that's what we're all about is we want the, the total experience. It's not enough just to have great food and great cocktails. We want the entire experience when you're here. We want you to want to come back. We want to be home for you. No, a true story. The cool part is that's a, a favorite snack, especially game stuff, but I mean, it's elevated to like, it's special. Right. And I'm not kidding, incredibly delicious. But let's talk about that barbecue plate you brought out. Mm -hmm. My gosh, there was, there was everything on there a guy could want. The, and, and that's kind of what we did with that is we wanted you to try a little bit of everything. We have a process with everything that we do. Our brisket takes 12 to 14 hours. And again, it's Texas Wagyu beef. Um, we took a long time to work through that because we want the perfect smoke ring. We have a proprietary rub that we make in house. So the brisket is one of our specialties. I have to say my favorite item are the St. Louis style ribs. It takes five hours to do the ribs. We have our, our uh, in-house made bourbon barbecue sauce. So the ribs are smoked with a dry rub for four hours. Then we sauce them. They go for a little bit longer just to get that candy gooiness on the outside. And they're just fall off the bone enough. So the bone doesn't come out until you pull a little bit on it and then they're there. It's perfect. Yes, it it's is. Perfect. He doesn't lie. <laughs> uh, that salmon though, you were talking about that pecan crusted smoked salmon. So Dude. The salmon again, and that's a, a take on something I've been doing for, for many, many years. So the salmon, we take a fresh salmon filet, brush it with molasses, but then we take um, pecans that we smoked for two and a half hours, grind them, and they're mixed with, I can't tell you everything that goes in it because I give away all my secrets. Right. A little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of spice. They're coated on the outside and then um, roasted at a very, very high temperature very, very quickly makes for a phenomenal kind of sticky um, smokiness on the outside of the salmon. I love that Wagyu filet. Fantastic. Well, when we do that filet, 
Um, we are taking it, we are, we're pan searing it. It's super, super high heat because I like to get that crust on the outside of it. It's finished with a little bit of butter, a little bit of garlic. Um, and then when it comes out to the plate, we're actually saucing that with a bourbon whole grain mustard demi-gloss. A little bit of microgreens on top and then it can go with whatever sides that you want with it. It is one of our premium items on the menu. It is a beautiful, beautiful steak. I mean, you just, you almost can't get enough of it. I think the steak should just come with a knife and a fork. <laughs> That's what I want for a side, a knife it, it, and To a be fork. honest, you don't need a knife. Oh, you, yeah, you true story. You steak with a spoon. I'll be honest with you, I did just take one whole <laughs> bite of it. In the middle of this meal, Greg, I'm gonna be honest with you, I had an incredible snack. This jalapeno popper, oh my gosh, a little bit of fire, a lot of flavor, this bacon onion, what was in that? So that is our house-made jalapeno popper. I'm not gonna take all the credit for that. Honestly, my lead here, EZ, came up with the idea herself and it's, it was a phenomenal idea. So we take a whole roasted jalapeno pepper. We cut, cut, take the top off it, hollow it out, and we fill it with a mixture of pimento cheese and our house-made bacon onion jam, um, which is we, we make so much bacon onion jam here at the Riverwalk that we have to buy pork shoulders specifically cut them down instead of bellies, smoke it, make, we cure it, smoke it, take seven days just to make the bacon, to make the bacon onion jam. That's stuffed inside a jalapeno pepper that is then breaded in our seasoned panko crust, dropped in a fryer real quick and it goes on a plate for you. Okay, before we get to the drinks, you brought out two desserts that literally changed my marketing director's life. Cause other people go, hmm, you tried this? <laughs> Tell me about that banana pudding. The banana pudding is our house specialty, um, and it is it is very traditional, old school scratch banana pudding. Uh, it is not vanilla pudding like a lot of places do. We actually make the banana pudding um, from scratch, cream, bananas, sugar, cornstarch. It is a phenomenal, phenomenal product. We layer it with bananas. We layer it with traditional Nilla wafers, because I was told by someone, you have to use Nilla wafers. It cannot be any Good story. Brand. And then it's layered and it comes out, it is rich, it is sweet, it is, it's heaven in a glass. Yeah, but let me tell you, that carrot cake, oh, what was that about? It's a five layer carrot cake, it is very traditional. It's not designed to be your traditional um, covered on all sides carrot cake with the cream cheese frosting. It's layered, it's rustic, it's it's big, it's shareable. Again, it's, it's, it's summer, it's happiness, it's fantastic. You know, Greg, your restaurant's amazing, but you also have this incredible bar. I heard people have been waiting in line, even in the heat, That's to right. participate in. That's right. You made some beautiful drinks. Say, tell us, what did you make? I will say that, you know, my, my partner in the bar area, Jamie Creevy, does a phenomenal job with creating cocktails. And we did tend to today, um, one of our signatures called the Whiskey and Smoke. It's a take on an old fashioned, but what we actually do with that is we have a bourbon that we infuse with our house-made bacon. Again, this takes seven days just to make this cocktail. <laughs> More bacon. Because we take our house-made bacon, we infuse it into bourbon, then we pull the bacon back out of that. We candy the same bacon that was soaked in the bourbon for seven days, and that becomes the garnish for that cocktail. It's a wonderful experience. It, you get that smokiness from the bacon, the sweetness, the bourbon, it's, it's phenomenal. You really can't have just one. <laughs> right. You get a driving under bacon influence. It's exactly okay, right. good. Exactly right. I understand I heard someone over there say, bless your heart. Yes, bless your heart. And that's actually one of the most popular drinks at the bar because it's super, super colorful. It's a bright purple, tall drink. It's a take on a whiskey smash done with dragon fruit. Um, and it comes in as a really, really tall garnished glass. It's beautiful looking at the bar. It's fun to drink. And again, you have a tendency to drink a couple of them just because you're having fun while you're doing it. So a friend of mine was here the other night getting ready to order and one went by and they changed their order it because looks so it looks so it, it catches your eye it's bright bright purple it's a beautiful drink tell us about the revolver so we did a classic bourbon cocktail which is you know kind of done for i'm i don't i'm gonna say for the guys but it's great for anyone but it's because it's it's a very boozy cocktail um and it, it's it's great to drink at the bar it's fun to say i had a revolver tonight or two or three people just love to do it very good Last question, if you could tell 10,000 people one thing about Whiskey and Smoke here at the Riverwalk, look into the camera here, what would you say? Come down and try us out. The Riverwalk is here and we're open. That's the number one problem we have is people don't even know that we're here. Well, they are here, they are open. I want you to meet Greg and seriously, I met his wife, I met his crew. They're phenomenal people. The food's amazing. I'm really proud of you. I'm excited to support and tell the world about you. Get down here to the Riverwalk, come to Whiskey and Smoke, meet Greg, and thank you for watching Foodie Friday DFW. Thank you.